I did a bad thing, Charlie. Uh-huh. <laughs> a very bad thing. Sorry to hear it. I don't even want to tell you about it. Good. Yeah, I'm so ashamed. Okay, we both know you're going to tell me, so just tell me. Well, in order to explain it, I have to go back a few oh, years. Oh, please, God. Help me. Back when Judith and I were still married, but having problems, I decided to try to make her happy by buying her a really nice pair of diamond earrings. You could afford diamond earrings? No alimony, no child support. It was a bountiful time. Uh-huh. Anyway, I spent a fortune on them, and I, I wrapped them up really nice and took her to an expensive restaurant and gave them to her over cocktails. And? She said thanks, ordered the lobster, then filed for divorce. <laughs> At which point, I moved in with you. You're right, Alan. That was a very bad thing. Oh, no, no, that was just a prologue. Oh, please, God, help me. <laughs> so this afternoon, I was over at Judith's to talk to her about using my child support payments to buy Jake new clothes. Yeah. She's against it. <laughs> we argued, she stormed out of the room, and left me standing there by myself in the house I used to own. Anyway, before I left, I figured I'd pee. I didn't really need to, but, you know, you gotta figure with the traffic, it's a good defense. Would you move, please you know, get right? to it? Almost there, almost there. So, as I was walking down the hallway, I noticed that Judith's bedroom door was open. And I thought about those beautiful diamond earrings just sitting there in her jewelry box and how I can't even afford to buy my girlfriend a birthday present. Let me guess. You peed in her jewelry box. <laughs> Judith never even wore them, Charlie. You stole diamonds from your ex-wife? Yeah. Kudos! <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. I mean, it was like I was in a dream and my hands belonged to someone else. I have that same dream all the time. <laughs> Except that mine, the hands do belong to someone else. I'm a good man, Charlie. I play by the rules. This isn't me. Sure it is. You made up your mind that you were gonna figure out a way to get Lindsay a nice birthday present. The only part that isn't you is that you succeeded. <laughs> I can't give these to Lindsay. They're tainted. I have to sneak them back into Judith's jewelry box. Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Don't you watch TV? Every time the crooks try to put the stolen loot back, it always goes horribly and hilariously wrong. <laughs> I'll just have to take that chance. Tomorrow, I'm going back to Judith's, and I'm gonna make this right. Suit yourself. I don't suppose you want to come with me? Maybe distract her while I put the earrings back? Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. What could go wrong? <laughs> 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 <laughs>